Alongside what's looking to be an awesome campaign, Doom Eternal will channel some of that energy into an electrifying asymmetrical multiplayer mode that combines solid cooperative play and stylish aerial combat. Battle Mode is a fast-paced 2v1 mode where rounds can be anything from a few seconds to over 20 minutes long. The Doom Slayer plays solo and has access to all the equipment unlocked throughout Doom Eternal's main campaign, including weapons, mods and more. The demons make up a hellish duo, with their own set of abilities that chip away at the Slayer's health, and you can tweak their loadouts to favour an offensive or defensive style. There will be six maps available at launch and five demons to choose between, including Revenant, Mancubus, Archvile, Pain Elemental and Marauder. Remember, this is the end game Doom Slayer. To balance that, demons can spawn AI companions and place environmental hazards. Demons are even able to starve the Slayer of resources by perfectly timing a loot block. While this ability charges slowly, it can end a match very quickly. To top it off, player control demons can also respawn if the Slayer doesn't kill both in quick succession. It may sound like the demons are pretty powerful here, but the Slayer has access to all the weapons and mods from the campaign, as well as their typical dash and vaulting abilities. Both sides get to choose upgrades at the end of each round. As the demons, you might choose to gain health points or buff your minions. As the Slayer, upgrades feel quite similar to those included in the campaign. You can claim a glory kill from further away, for example, or chainsaw enemies faster for more health and fuel. After playing for a little while, I began to favour two demons in particular. The firewielding Archvile can set a section of the floor ablaze and create a flame wall to repel the Slayer's advances. This demon can teleport to avoid tough situations or chase the Slayer when they're low on health and you're confident you can seal the round. I also really enjoy playing as the Pain Elemental. Doom Eternal's campaign conditions you to launch yourself into the air wherever possible, so seeing the arena from a bird's eye view feels natural. The Pain Elemental gives you a lot of space and a clear view of where the Slayer is. While it looks like a giant balloon target floating around the arena, its soul shield feels powerful to use and it also has a dash ability that's useful for taking cover while you wait for your partner to resurrect. From what I've seen so far, the current demon roster seems diverse enough to offer a variety of approaches. The Mancubus is tanky, the Revenant has decent mobility and a strong rocket barrage, and the Marauder makes the most of their axe. You can coordinate with your team to stack damage by placing multiple hazards at once, kind of like this. This is where playing with friends will be really fun, and once the mode launches, it will be interesting to see which combinations the community finds to be optimal for dealing max damage to the Slayer. The maps look great too. I spent a lot of time in the Forsaken Arena, which felt like the perfect place to get used to the mode. Tundra serves as a snowy amphitheatre, and Celestial features hazardous beams that can shave off a chunk of health if you're not paying attention. Switching between the Demons and Slayer gives me a lot of hope for this mode at launch. Playing as the Slayer feels intense, as you're outnumbered and constantly having to think a few steps ahead. Finally taking out both player-controlled demons feels like a true achievement. I was actually so engrossed in the match that at one point my Apple Watch buzzed to notify me that my heart rate had been elevated for an extended period of time. If that's not a strong indication of how intense this mode can be, I don't know what is. Despite the Slayer being so fun to play, our group really struggled to secure any wins with them. We took a few rounds off each other here and there, but couldn't quite seal the deal. It will certainly be easier to master the Slayer's options once you've made your way through Doom Eternal's campaign, as you're introduced to everything at a good pace. In the heat of the moment, remembering every ability is challenging, but I'm confident the campaign will condition you to switch between your resources naturally. The main takeaway with the Slayer is to never stand still, and use the jump pads and monkey bars to your advantage. The arenas also have teleporters that let you travel to the opposite end of the stage. Not only does this mobility enable you to escape the jaws of the demons more easily, it affords you a second or two to select your next victim. As you're playing solo, anticipating your opponent's actions is key. I've spent a lot of time on the Slayer, but playing as a demon has its own highlights. Experimenting with each of their abilities is really fun, and it was nice to actually win some matches. As you'd expect, the demons are quite weak on their own, but they can finish off the Slayer if they need to. The key to succeeding with them depends on you playing off your partner's abilities while avoiding the temptation to overexert yourself. You can resurrect, which is incredibly frustrating for the Slayer, but ideally you don't want to leave your teammate to take on the opponent on their own. On its surface, battle mode is fast-paced, frantic fun, 
but the demon roster and the formidable Doomslayer gives it tactical depth. I'm looking forward to seeing how the wins fluctuate across each side as the community becomes more skilled and it will be great to see which demon combos complement each other. Doom Eternal releases on March 20th and I'm really excited to jump back into battle mode. Thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions feel free to leave them below. Have a great day and keep it locked to PC Gamer.